Home Assistant is really cool. In the meantime, the whole thing has developed so much, especially in recent years, that, in my opinion, automations can really be completely handled through Home Assistant. And you can use Home Assistant as the ultimate tool in the smart home for, well, all sensors, all data. Everything can be collected there as a central hub and controlled from there. However, it must also be said that, and I have uh, looked into this in the past, other tools do things a bit differently. Both IO Broker and Open Hub have a slightly different concept. And if you come from there or are used to other possibilities, the way of automation can be a bit confusing. You really have to delve into it. For some, and I gathered this from the comments, it doesn't seem to be suitable at all. Writing automations more in a YAML format, as I would call it, simply. For them, a, a node-based tool would be the better option. And, well, it, one must say it is theoretically possible. Not directly in core Home Assistant, but with an external tool that can be integrated directly into Home Assistant. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We are dealing with Node-RED and how to integrate it into Home Assistant. As always, after the intro, enjoy. Yes, as already announced in the intro, Node-RED is a node-based tool with which you can write a lot of automations. And the cool thing is that it also offers the possibility to add integrations similar to Home Assistant. So we can work wah, with the Home Assistant data itself as well as install external integrations that we can then use in Node-RED to greatly expand the functionality of the whole thing. Basically, it must be said that the basic functions are already, yes, extremely comprehensive. So for anyone who likes this or node-based interface, Node-RED is definitely the right choice. And for those who have been put off by Home Assistant because they said, hmm, I don't like its automations at all. The rest is nice, but I can't imagine writing automations like that. This combination could be the decisive factor to get involved with Home Assistant. That's why I'm going to show you now how to integrate the whole thing. For that, let's just jump to my screen here. So here we are on my Home Assistant dashboard. And it, to install Node-RED, we click on Settings, then Add-ons, and then we find the Add-on Store at the bottom. Inside here, you can search, and we search for Node-RED um, and click on Install. And the best part, we've actually already completed the complicated part. The only thing I would still configure, since we are in the home network here, and if it sets it um, is fake under the configuration section, and then the SSL option. I would disable that once, and then click on save, and then we are actually done. Now, in the information tab, turn on the watchdog, enable automatic updates, and display in the sidebar. Then we can go ahead and start the whole thing. The options have ensured that it will now always start whenever Home Assistant is started. If Node-RED should ever crash, it will automatically restart. And most importantly, it will always be displayed in the sidebar. Thus, we have quick access to open it directly here. We can now choose whether to click on Open User Interface here or on Node-RED on the side. When we do that, we can already see the interface. It should look familiar to anyone who has worked with nodes before because they don't differ that much. Basically, up here we have well, different tabs, as I would call them, if you compare it to a browser. We can create different so-called flows here. We can also name them, so I'll just call this one main. Done. And then we could create advanced or new flows here using the plus sign. The practical thing is that these flows are ultimately just so-called JSONs, meaning a long string where everything is stored, and we can easily copy these flows from the internet, as well as easily save or export our own and theoretically share them with someone. So if we have written a great flow and want to send it on, we could directly extract it from here. This could theoretically be done via this menu icon here and then import, or in my case, export. Then we can, for example, select this flow here and we can already see what the JSON of it would look like. We could now copy this to the clipboard, send it to someone, and they could directly import it and would then have exactly the same flow that we have. Might need to adjust one or two things accordingly, but basically, yes, you could copy it super easily, like that. Additionally, since we have set this up here via Home Assistant, this Node-RED instance 
is so smart and has directly created a home assistant point for us here. For all those who are new, I'll give a very small example. We simply take and inject YX from the general section here, me, which is the option to start or trigger something by pressing this button. You can always save everything using this button up here, adopt or deploy. Then the whole thing is automatically published. So we click on it once now, and then we have already saved this flow directly here. Every time I press here now, um, everything connected to it will be executed automatically. Next, I get the current state, which is the current status of any sensor. And at the same time, and we will need this very often, this debug part here, which simply displays everything that comes in on the console here, which you can find with this, well, back icon. Now we simply connect the things. So once in here, once in here, go to the sensor. And then of course we need to add the sensor name here. I will call it plant now because I'm getting the plant sensor. And then we also need the friendly name for it. We get that, for example, in the overview here. I would like this temperature settings. And then I see here, here the name, I can simply copy it now. Here I then insert the entity ID, which is the value I just copied. Now we could make queries here, but we'll skip that for now, click on done. And as soon as I press here, the current temperature value will be displayed. We can check it again uh, by clicking on overview temperature. And then I see the current value here. Another important thing is this function here. You could um, use it to write your own code here. It's always important to know so that when you input something here, like this temperature value that we could input here, it will then be in msg.payload. So here we would have a temperature value in it, or we could modify the whole thing by setting the message.payload to 33, for example. Done. And if we then put it into the debug, save the whole thing, we would get 20.9 once, and then 33 once, because we modified the value here as it is directly connected. Let's test it out. I press here, and then we have 33 and 20.9. I don't want to go too deep into it because anyone who wants to work with it should definitely engage with it properly. ChatGPT can, of course, be a great help at this point. Unless you would like to see it, then feel free to write it in the comments. Maybe I'll make a more detailed video on, on how to write us larger flows yourself. What I somehow completely forgot to mention is that besides all these nodes that you already have available here, and as you can see, there are really quite a lot. You might sometimes have more specific requirements. For example, more complex if-then conditions or any external integrations such as calendars or other things that you can integrate directly into Node-RED. And that is also possible because there are, again, custom plugins or integrations that you can add. You can find them here at these three dots. And then you can click on Manage Palette and then you will see installed nodes here, which are the things we have already installed in Node-RED. And when we click on install, we can browse through a catalog of now in 5,200 modules. This is of course feasible if you just enter calendar here. However, there is also this link here. If we click on it, there is a completely separate page with Node-RED flows. And here you can just click through and see if there is already Woos a suitable integration for yourself. Especially if you're not much of a programmer and don't feel like writing your own functions. There are many of these integrations that you can already use and you can implement things that you would otherwise a, only achieve with functions. I'll definitely link this page uh, for you in the video description below. Alternatively, you can simply enter your question plus node read in the Google search and you'll usually find custom nodes that can somehow implement it. Otherwise, I don't want to drag this out too long. If you like this video and above all, if it helped you, feel free to write it in the comments. If you have more questions about it, then yes, you can also do that there. If you liked the video, feel free to show it with a rating. And before you switch off, here is an Amazon voucher for the first person who is watching the video right now. Feel free to redeem it. Thank you for watching. And if you ever feel like snagging an Amazon voucher yourself, then you just have to be the first to watch this video here. Accordingly, I would recommend that you subscribe to this channel to support me in improving this statistic a bit. Thank you very, very much to everyone. And then I would say that's it for this video. We'll see each other again next week. Until then, take care, have a good one and goodbye.